guidelines or we can say treatment of TB. Now guidelines for treatment of TB, the latest program for their treatment of tuberculosis is National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. Previously it was RNTCP, Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program. But now the program is named as National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. NTEP, National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. So according to this program, we can treat TB according to two things, whether it is a drug sensitive or it is a drug resistant. Drug sensitive or drug resistant. Drug sensitive simply means when the, paras uh, the, when the mycobacterium is sensitive to all the first line drugs. Drug resistant means when it is resistant to any of the first line drugs. Now, when we say drug sensitive, so the treatment of drug sensitive tuberculosis now is same for everyone. Remember, previously there were category 1, category 2, category 4, so many categories were there. Now, drug sensitive TB is treated similarly. Whether the person has a relapse or whether the person is having mild TB, everything is treated same. And what is the treatment? For two months, we give four drugs, HRJT. And for four months, we give three drugs HRE. So that is common for treatment of drug sensitive TVs, whether old cases or new cases everywhere now. So now the drug sensitive TV, six month treatment, two month intensive phase, four drugs HRJD and four month continuation phase, three drugs HRE. Okay. So that is drug sensitive TB treatment. Now coming to drug resistant TB treatment. Here, more important than treatment, you need to remember the definition. When we say drug resistant, which drug resistant? So, we will classify the drug resistant TB, drug resistant TB. And that classification is asked in the MCQ. That is the most important thing. Now, this classification has been recently changed. So, listen carefully. So, drug resistant TB may be mono drug resistant TB. Mono drug. Second, it may be poly drug resistant TB. Poly drug resistant TB. Third, it may be rifampicin resistant TB. Rifampicin resistant TB. Fourth, it may be multi drug resistant TB. Fifth, it may be pre extensive drug resistant TB. And lastly, it may be extensively drug resistant TB. So, six type of drug resistance. So, you need to remember definition. Treatment normally not asked. Definition is asked. So, when we say monodrug resistant TB, when the mycobacterium is resistant to any of the first line oral drug except rifampicin. Except rifampicin, any one drug, the bacteria is resistant. So, first line drugs, oral drugs we have are H, R, Z, E. These are the four oral drugs we have. So, out of that, we have removed rifampicin. Rifampicin, we say, because rifampicin resistance is a separate category. So, that means if the mycobacterium is resistant to any one, that means either isoniazid or uh, pyrazinamide or ethambutol, any one of out of the three, it is called as monodrug resistant. Okay. Then, similarly, polydrug resistant. Polydrug resistant will be more than one out of first line oral drug except rifampicin. So, that means among these, more than one. That means either resistant to H or Z or Z or E or H, Z, E or H, E. Any more than one. Then rifampicin resistance, it is the term used when the mycobacterium is resistant to rifampicin but sensitive to isoniazid. When the mycobacterium is resistant to rifampicin but sensitive to isoniazid, it is called as rifampicin resistant mycobacterium. Multi drug resistant TB. This is important. MDRTB. When we will say MDRTB, when the mycobacterium is resistant to both isoniazid and rifampicin. But when it is resistant to both isoniazid and rifampicin, then it is called as MDRT. Now, this is the new term which has come in the guidelines pre XDR. Earlier pre XDR term was not there. Pre XDR, pre extensively drug resistant TB. Extensively drug resistant TB, the term used when the mycobacterium is minimum MDR, that means resistant to isoniazid plus rifampicin, plus it is also resistant to one of the fluoroquinolones also. So when it is resistant to one of the fluoroquinolones also, then we say it is 
pre-XDR. And XDR extensively drug resistant. Remember, it is not extremely drug resistant. It is extensively drug resistant. Now, XDR TB means the mycobacterium is minimum pre-XDR. That means it is resistant to H plus R, which is of MDR. Plus, it is resistant to one of the fluoroquinolones. Okay. So, that is pre-XDR. Plus, if it is resistant to one of the other drugs of group A, we will discuss the grouping rest now. That is minimum either bidaquiline or linezolide. So, if it is resistant to these, then it is said to be XDRTB. So, remember this is the changed definition of XDRTB. In the previous definition, in XDRTB, instead of bidaculin or linezolide, the word here was injectable drugs. But now we do not use injections anymore or very rarely we use. So, now if the bacteria is resistant to either bidaculin or linezolide in addition to pre-XDR, then we will say it is XDR tuberculosis. Okay. So, that is the classification which is important that is asked in the MCQs. Now, we can discuss the treatment of drug resistant TB also. Remember, this is not important. So, even if you leave, there will be no problem. So, treatment of TB. So, if there is isoniazid resistance. If there is resistance to isoniazid, then we do not use as intensive phase and continuation phase. Simply for 6 to 9 months, 6 to 9 months, we will give rest of the 3 drugs which are effective from the oral HRZ. We have HRZD, so H we cannot give, so give RZD and add a fluoroquinolone. More, mostly we add levofloxacin. Now if there is MDRTB or if there is XDRTB, for treatment of MDRTB, XDRTB, pre-XDRTB, we classify the drugs. And we classify the drugs into three groups. Group A, Group B, Group C. And Group A, B, C, these are classified based on how we will be using the drugs in this sequence. Group A drugs, they include fluoroquinolones. Fluoroquinolones, we discussed only two fluoroquinolones are now being used, Levo or Moxy. Then, Bidaquiline and Linezolide, they are also in the Group A. Then group B drugs, it include clofazamin and cycloserine. Alternative to cycloserine is terizidone, they are same drugs. So clofazamin and cycloserine are group B and in group C remaining drugs like pyrazinamide dithambitol, which are the first line drugs left. Then we have some carbapenems, carbapenems like imipenem silastatin, imipenem silastatin combination or we can even use meropenem, meropenem. These are carbapenems. Then ethionamide pass, the new drug delaminide, and then injectable drug amicacin streptomycin. All these are group C drugs. No need to remember. So what is important to remember are the classification. How drug resistant TB is classified. No need to remember all these in detail. So what are the treatment of uh, first of all, MDR TB or rifampicin resistant TB. If the TB is a resistance to rifampicin or it is resistant to isoniazid plus rifampicin, then we will treat the TB by two methods. Either we can give short oral regime or we can give long oral regime. So short, remember nowadays all oral drugs are preferred. Short oral regime means the treatment is for 9 to 11 months. 9 to 11 months. But we cannot use this regime in every person with TB or rifampicin resistant TB. There must be some criteria where we will use this short regime. So short regime, for using short regime, what are the criteria we use? First criteria, we know it is a rifampicin plus isoniazid resistance. We are saying this. So rifampicin resistance is okay. Because if it is rifampicin resistance, in MDR also rifampicin resistance. But in isoniazid resistance, what should, you should keep in mind is that there should be mutation only one. We discussed two mutations can cause isoniazid resistance, CATG mutation or INHA mutation. So any one mutation should be there. If both the mutations are present, then we cannot use short. Yeah. So if both mutations are present, then we cannot use the short oral regime. Second, fluoroquinolone should be sensitivity. That means it is not for XDRTB. XDRTB, pre-XDRTB, we cannot use the short regime. So this is only for MDRTB, not for pre-XDR or XDR because fluoroquinolone resistance is present in them. Okay? Then no history of exposure to second line treatments. So obviously whatever drugs we are using, the person should not have been exposed to them. Or if even if exposed, it should not be for more than one month. Okay. Then 
in children we cannot use less than five years we should not use then we are not using it for severe disease that was no extensive pulmonary tb no severe extra pulmonary and it is not for pregnancy or lactation so these are the criteria where we can use short regime so short oral regime what are the criteria number one there is rifampicin resistant or uh, mdr tb number two the Mutation in the isoniazid resistance is only one. Both mutations are not present. Number three, fluoroquinolone resistance is not there. That means not for pre-XDR or XDR-TB. Number four, person should not be exposed to second-line drugs, the drugs which we are going to give them. And it is not for severe disease, not for children, not for pregnancy. Okay. So, in them, we can use short oral regime. So, what are the treatment we give for intensive phase? Intensive phase, it continues for four to six months. We will give bidacoiline. Bidacoiline is given for six months. Whether the intensive phase finish in four months, still bidacoiline is given for six months. So bidacoiline, then we have two first line drugs which are remaining. H and R is the resistance, so Z and E we will give. We will add a fluoroquinolone which is levofloxacin. Then we will add high dose isoniazid. High dose isoniazid. Normal dose is not responding. We will add high dose isoniazid, clofazamine and ethionamide. So these are the drugs which are continued for four months. Four months we will continue. After four months, we will again do the testing and see whether the smear is positive or not. If smear is positive, we will continue for another two months. But if smear is negative, if smear is negative, then we will stop giving all these and we will give bidacoiline for another two months. So bidacoiline is given for six months. And we will start the continuation phase. Continuation phase is for five months. And in this phase, we will give levofloxacin, clofazamine, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. Okay, no need to remember. I am telling again, just because you will be asking me, I have not covered, I am covering this, no need to remember. Then coming to long oral regime. So this was the short. Short is for around 9 to 11 months. Then long regime is for 18 to 20 months. So this is also changed now, remember, 18 to 20 months. And remember, it is having no intensive or continuation phase. So when we cannot use short regime, when we cannot use short regime, like there is extensive disease, extensive pulmonary disease, or there is a mutation in both isoniazid and rifampicin, or there is XDRTB, pre-XDRTB, when we cannot use the in short regime, then we will use oral regime, long oral regime. And in long oral regime, no intensive, no continuation phase. We will give continuously for 18 to 20 months these four drugs. These four drugs will be given for 18 to 20 months. So remember, the, they are the total five drugs which are taken from first two groups. So we have used one fluoroquinolone, bidacoiline, linezolide, clofazamine, cycloserine. That is used in the long regime. A and B groups, all five drugs are used, but only difference is all the drugs are given for 18 to 20 months, but bidacoiline is for six months only. Bidacoiline we will give for six months and it we will stop it after six months. Okay, so that is about the long. Again, no need to remember. Okay? Just remember classification of resistance. So recently one more regime has came which is experimental in India. It is not approved. It is not used. It is only on experimental basis. The regime consists of bidacoiline, B pal regime, B for bidacoiline, P for pretomenide, and L for linezolide. So this regime can be used bidacoiline, pretomenide, and linezolide for uh, MDR and XTR TB, but it is only experimental now. Okay. So these are the treatment guidelines for tuberculosis. Okay.